What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP. And today, I wanna to talk to you about how you can use the OMAC Teleport to integrate Neural DSP plugins into your live setup. At the outset, I want the following examples to be evidence of the flexibility of this pedal. This is not me telling you that you need to buy every piece of equipment I use in this video, but more so that I want to spark creativity in your own live setups and how you could use this pedal to its fullest potential. The first setup is how to use the plugin in conjunction with your own cabinet, and it's probably the setup I get asked about the most. Now, I'll be using my Two Notes Torpedo Live as a load box for direct recording, so I don't blow my ears out in the process of demonstrating. You'll start with the OMEC teleport, send it to the plugin, and then disengage the impulse response with either a double click or right click if you're on PC, then back out to a solid state power amp, then onto your cabinet, or in my case, the two notes. You'll wanna use a solid state power amp because the two power amps will color the signal. Now I have this dark glass Microtubes 500 I'll be using, or you can use something like the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 170. If you use something like the dark glass, be sure to plug it into the effects return instead of the input so you don't get the saturation from the preamp section. The next setup I'm gonna demonstrate is probably the simplest, utilizing the pedal and the plugin. Let's talk about audio settings first. On PC, when you set up the pedal with the plugin, you'll want to go into your audio settings, select Osseo as your device type, and then select generic USB audio driver. After this, select control panel and switch both input and output ports to the USB audio codec. If you're not getting any sound, go to the sound panel, playback, right click on the USB audio codec, levels, and pump the volume up as needed. For Max, it's much more simple. You go to your audio settings, you select USB audio codec for your audio output device and USB audio codec for your input device, and then you're finished. You can now send your signal to the Neural DSP plugin of your choice, either in a DAW or the standalone. You now have the choice to either send a mono signal, a stereo signal, or two separate mono signals you set up in a DAW out of the OMEC teleport. Sending your signal out of the pedal in stereo will come in handy when you want to use the ping pong delay in one of the archetype plugins. For this example, I have my signal going into the OMEC teleport to my laptop using the archetype of Bossy standalone, then on to record into my Pro Tools on my main rig. If you use a DAW, you'll have the choice of using multiple plugins and creating your own chains, or you could set up one channel to have a Neural DSP plugin and a second to have a clean DI. This way, your first output could be a Neural DSP plugin, and then you could set up a second output for your normal amp setup and then blend the two tones together. You could also set up one to be your amp tone and another to be a piezo style tone. The options are pretty limitless, actually. You could utilize the pedals from any of the plugins to integrate into either the front of the head or the effects loop, depending on where in the signal chain you want to add effects. So I have this Mesa Boogie dual rectifier and I'll show you a couple of potential uses. For the first example, I'll be sending the overdrive pedal from the archetype Nolly into the front of the head. For the second example, I'll use the archetype Abasi delay and reverb in the effects loop.
So what do I think of the Omec Teleport? I think it's a fantastic and flexible piece of equipment. The only minor drawback I can possibly see is that unlike many small interfaces, it doesn't have a MIDI input. I know a lot of you are looking to control your neural DSP plugins with a MIDI controller, but the simple solution is if you use this pedal, you'll need to get a MIDI to USB converter. Otherwise, the size, weight, and flexibility of this pedal make it a great tool to have in your setup. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload our videos. Comment down below. Let me know if you like this content, if you want to see me do more reviews on equipment you can use with the Neural DSP products. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.